Hi everyone, this is Hibba from my little journal and I'm really excited to be doing a flip through of my vacation album to the Philippines. I know this is long overdue. I've promised you guys so many times that I would do a flip through, but I've been just so, so busy. Um, and also I did want to mention that this video might be a tiny bit darker than usual just because I'm not using my studio lights and it's been raining nonstop in Georgia. Like we haven't seen sun for days. So um, I just decided to go ahead and film it and take my chances and hopefully that doesn't bother you. Um, and I'm not using my studio lights by the way because it adds a lot of glare to the pockets. So I'm trying to reduce the glare. But anyways, let's move on. Uh, I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about our vacation and a little bit about my techniques while creating a vacation album. I do not add my vacation uh, pages in my main Project Life album. I always create a separate album for it, especially when it's a long vacation. And this one was definitely long. It was around 20 days, so definitely had to go into its own album. I ended up using a 9x12 from Studio Calico. I love the size for a vacation album, especially when I have a lot of photos. Um, but I might try a 6x12 this year when we do go on vacation. I think that would be a really cool size to try. But anyways, enough talking, let's start. I always like to start with a large photo of probably like one of my favorite spots or my favorite photo. This was definitely a favorite spot. This was Corone Island and it was just gorgeous. The water was blue and it just needed a large photo. All I did was stamped out the location and called it done for my first or my title page. Now, when I'm creating in my vacation album, I like to break it down into days it makes the process so much easier i also like to stick to a kit if possible and this year i decided to type out my journaling ahead of time and just slip it into a smaller pocket it made the process so much easier i definitely recommend it i didn't have to worry about journaling about every photo oh every layout it was just much smoother let's say and if i did have something extra to say I did add some journaling throughout the spreads, but it made it so much easier to have it already typed out and printed out, especially that there was a lot to talk about, so it wouldn't fit on a 3x4 or 4x6 card. I also like to use numbers to break down my days, so I use some wood veneers, I believe, and some, some um, chipboard, that's what I'm trying to say. So I believe my numbers were from some old Ali Edward kits, if I'm not mistaken, but Anyways, that's all I did. I used some numbers to break down the days, journaled, and tried to use kits as much as possible. Now, my first spread was all about us traveling. This was a long process to get to the Philippines. We missed a whole day, if that makes sense. So it was a two-day journey kind of thing. So those first two days were all about our travels. I like to take pictures of our bags. I like to take pictures of the window while we're on the plane, the kids while they're doing their thing. When we stop at different airports, I also like to add our tickets. Now, every once in a while I did add ephemera throughout the album, but whatever was left over, I kept it in the album and I'll share with you once I'm done with this album where and how I do that. But I kept it really simple. I used my stamps, I used my kits. By the way, I backed up my journaling with a six by eight, just because I didn't have anything else on the back. But um, I really like adding larger photos throughout my album and smaller pockets also. Day three, uh, we arrived and we were jet lagging. So we didn't spend a lot of time walking around in the city. We just went and had dinner, walked for a bit. And then the rest of the day, we spent it sleeping and trying to catch up uh, on sleep. Again, some journaling, and every time I journaled, I did add the days. So I stamped out using some of my feature craft stamp sets to stamp out the day. I had a lot to say, so it took up two spreads. Now, day four, we went on a ship and we traveled to a different island, which was the island of Bohol. We had a blast. We did a whole tour. 
I had a lot of photos. So this day took up a lot of layouts and I'm okay with that. I have a full album. I have a whole album to use. So I'm fine with that. Some days I only had one spread or two spreads. My kids ate worms. We went and checked out the Chocolate Hills, which is gorgeous. And because it's so pretty, I went with a large 6x12 photo. I, like I said earlier, I like to mix up my pockets, my photo size, everything. And I think that makes the album more interesting and fun to go through, I guess. So I decided to use this large photo just on its own. And then I was still documenting day four. I used a lot of flares, a lot of my old embellishments. Um, this kit was a Studio Calico kit. It was all about traveling. I believe this one was probably just feature craft. But I mix and match. I don't mind. I try to stick to one kit, but I will add in whatever works with the kit. I added this four by six photo. It was an extra. This one we purchased while we were on the bamboo bridge. And um, I didn't want to get rid of it. I didn't want to add it with my ephemera. So I just slipped it into a 4x6 and added it to my album. And I really like that interactive element. I also uh, left some pockets kind of see-through or transparent. And I, when I do something like this where I just add a, a chipboard or of some sort, I back it up on a little acetate sheet. And I back up the same chipboard just because of the opposite side but this is a great way to keep your embellishment in place and you don't have to stick it on your pocket um, from the outside so I like that little tip right there it works really well I use a lot of color cast design uh, acrylics and wood veneers um, I think the use of different types of embellishments and adding these little pockets here with embellishments and kind of doing flip throughs right here I think I lost my little word right here in my tab, but I will add another one. That happens a lot. But um, adding some ephemera, this is just a postcard from this little um, boat that we got to have dinner on. Just little things like that makes your album kind of flow nicely and be more interactive. I really love vacation albums because we have such a good time on our vacations that you kind of want to relive that. Uh, you probably won't go back there, but it's nice to have all the photos, have all these like um, journaling and the cards and just makes everything look so pretty, especially when somebody else is looking through your vacation. Day five, journaled about day five. We were uh, at Alona Beach we also went to a different island to go snorkeling. We got to see the dolphins. I believe I have a photo of the dolphins right here. Um, that's the best photo I was able to get for the dolphins. I took pictures of our gear for our snorkeling gear and our, well, yeah, that's our snorkeling gear. And little things like that. I always recommend when you go on vacation to take pictures that are kind of meaningful to you and meaningful to the moment. Like this photo right here, it kind of looks simple to you, not a big deal. The kids at the boat. But at this moment, the kids wanted to go with our friends who we met in the Philippines. They are from the Philippines and they took us on these tours and they're so sweet. And it was great to see them after years of not seeing each other. But they were going on their own and that was such a scary moment for me. Um, but I really learned how to let go while we were on vacation. Uh, my husband was like the person pushing me to just let go and let them be. So little things like that, it's really important to take pictures of the boat we took to go to the next island. I love this picture of my daughter. So I made sure to make it larger and put it in more than one pocket because it's a special photo to me. I just thought it was gorgeous. So I definitely use larger photos for those favorite pictures. Uh, more journaling. We're in day six. Um, like you can see here, I mixed and matched. I wanted also to use up my stash. So I backed up my photo with this four by six card, which I rarely do in my project life. I don't think I do that much. Um, but to use up more cards, I really love the colors on this four by six card and I needed space to add my numbers. So that worked out really well. I also take screenshots of the weather. It rained for days. 
uh, which kind of sucked, but we didn't make it stop us from uh, exploring. But I really wanted to add that because you forget these little things. You forget how many days it rained while you were there, what you did when it was raining. I used some acrylics from Colorcast Design. I really love this I Love Us. It worked perfectly with our photo. So that's another little element. I don't care that the backside isn't that beautiful. I'm fine with that. I still love how that looks. Um, adding a lot of 6x12s when I had extra photos. So I did have extra photos for day 6 and decided to add a 6x12. Day 7, we were traveling from one island to the other. I journaled about it. It was raining again. So just documenting that it was raining. I had this um, 4x6 card, I believe, from Kelly Perky, if I'm not mistaken. Or that could be Studio Calico. So just having the raindrops kind of reminded me that it was raining. I didn't even have to read my journaling. So little things like that, adding them throughout your album really helps remind you of what happened that day. Day eight, because it was still raining, we decided to go to the hot springs. Uh, we thought it was a good day to do that. Uh, it was so lovely, so beautiful even though it was raining, like I said, but look at this. It was just gorgeous with the fog and uh, I can't even explain it. That was a favorite day for sure. Um, just spending the day in the hot springs when I had dinner, it was just lovely. I also was adding these tags. Now you could create your own for sure, but I had these tags from an old Allie Edwards, One Little Word and I didn't end up doing the one little word, so I wanted to use that um, kit however I could. And this is another example of not just sticking to a, a theme. You don't have to use themed um, products for that only. You can use it wherever you like, make it work. And I just backed it up with a photo. I had that extra photo. I printed an extra one, and I don't like to get rid of any of my stuff, so I just added it on this tag and slipped it in my album. So day nine, we got to go on a tour where we did some canoeing, some swimming, some snorkeling, all kinds of different things. It was such an amazing experience. I saw one of the best spots in the world. I'm telling you, it was the most beautiful places ever, but I'll get to that in a bit. But anyways, um, there was some good times, bad times on that tour. So I had so much to say. I journaled about it. I even broke down my journaling into kind of spots where we went and what happened while we were at the spot or in that um, area. So definitely recommend to journal ahead of time just to remind you what was going on. I backed it up with a photo of the kids canoeing. I love that photo. Now that's the spot I was telling you about, the most prettiest spot uh, in the Philippines. Oh my gosh, it was gorgeous. This is Kayanga Lake. I love this and I couldn't get enough of it. Uh, we went and swam in the lake where the sweet water meets the salt water. It was amazing. We're still in day nine. I think we're in day nine. Yeah, this is day nine. Uh, we got to have lunch right off the ocean. Beautiful in this little hut that's built in between like the little um, islands. It's just really, really beautiful. I used a lot of my stamping. If I had like four by six cards that I thought were beautiful and I wanted to make them work, I used my travel stamps just to kind of bring it into my spreads. Oh, and here I used some acetate. Um, I've had these for a long time from Studio Calico. So I used them to add my ephemera, or not my ephemera, my embellishment, sorry. We are going into day 10 and 11. Uh, day 10, we had to move from one hotel to the other. So there was not a lot of photos. Uh, we decided to stay longer in Crown Island because it was so gorgeous and we just wanted to spend more time there. So we had to move hotels and there was not much to document. So all I did was just document our dinner, us moving hotels, little things like that. On day 11, we just decided to stay at the pool and relax, go have lunch together, dinner and all that good stuff. And we walked the market. Um, but I wanted to add this little tour guide thing. Even though we didn't go on this tour in specific, we actually went down to the market ourselves for our first tour and found um, 
uh, our own tour guide and a guy that will take us pr like on a private boat. And it was much, much cheaper than using our hotel or these tour guides for tourists that were on the streets and stuff. Um, this is definitely an easier way and I always recommend it. Always Google things. Always do it yourself because you will find better prices. And we always do that when we travel. We never do the touristy stuff with the tourists. We kind of do our own thing. On day 12, we did another tour with the same uh, captain and his assistant and on the same boat. And it was amazing. So, of course, uh, we started the day. Actually, my son played basketball with the locals. I love that. I snapped a photo. I snapped a photo of our hotel. Little things like that. There's a, this picture right here. That's my kids. I was freaking out, you guys. And I put a geotag to show where my kids were at. Look how small they are. They're like little ants. And the whole time, I was just freaking out. And these kids were just so adventurous. It's ridiculous. I definitely got out of my comfort zone on this trip, for sure. Um, I have backed up my journaling with a photo of my daughter. We did some snorkeling in different spots. We got to sit by the beach. Um, this photo right here was this guy on a boat that was going to different boats selling beer, which was pretty cool. So I definitely documented that. Um, this is where we got to go snorkeling. We got to stop uh, on one of the beaches and have our lunch. Um, I had some extra 6 by 8 so I just slipped them in a 6 by 8 pocket. My, I think at the end of the tour, my son got stung by a jellyfish. And he was in so much pain. Oh my gosh, it was not a good sight. Um, not a good feeling to see him in so much pain. But I had these incident report cards from Studio Calco. I've had it for a while. I think probably three years. That was my last one. It worked perfectly to add this kind of incident report on our vacation. Um, not a great moment, but I was happy to have that little three by four card. But because he wasn't uh, feeling it and I freaked out, so we decided to end the tour at that. And the next day, which was day 14, we climbed the this beautiful mountain. Um, it was gorgeous. At the top of the mountain, there was a huge cross that you can see from anywhere on the island. And at night, they light it up and it's just so beautiful. So, of course, we climbed that mountain, which, by the way, was 721 steps. Yes, and it took me forever, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> My kids were making fun of me, and they had the rocky music at the top of the mountain. They, we stood at the top, and I kind of added that um, little rocky moment there with my alpha stickers. Journaled about day 14. Uh, my husband did make it, but he made it really late. He was taking his time, taking pictures while he was going up the stairs. Um, so by the time he got up there, we were like, okay, we're done. We're going back down. So it was kind of funny. But I did add a, a 6 by 8 photo of us going back down. And I have some more photos of that. Um, I was able to use a lot of my travel kits and cards, like I said earlier. And I just typed out Philippines on this world map and added a geotag right next to the Philippines. Uh, day 15, we decided to go back to the hot springs because it was so soothing the first time. And we were aching, you guys. By the end of this trip, oh my gosh, we were so sore. We had sunburn. We were sore. Our feet hurt. Everything hurt. So we decided to go back to the hot springs spend a couple of hours there just to kind of soothe our body and it felt amazing and it made us kind of um, more energetic after we were done just um, documenting our dinner that day took a picture of our dinner my coffee and our mango juice we had a lot of mango juice while we were in the philippines really really enjoyed it it's the best mango on the planet I had these wood veneers from Studio Calico, so I definitely wanted to use that and add that into my album. And you can see throughout my album, I used a lot of flair, wood veneers, whatever I had extras or too much of or older stash, I definitely went for it and used it. I definitely recommend to use up your stash in albums like this because it's a great time to use them. 
um, and kind of not get rid of them. I hate saying get rid of them because we bought them, we love them. It's just more to get them out of your drawers and actually use them and make good use of them. Now, day 16, we traveled from Caron Island to back to the city, to Cebu. So there was not much to document. We were on one plane to the other. There was a lot of delays, not fun at all. But it was Father's Day. I We got him a little cake, and I just kind of documented that. Added Father's Day here. Um, they had fireworks for Father's Day, so we went and checked those out as, all, uh, as well. And then I added another of those tags just to add more interest and to use those tags. Now, the tag had something, had nothing to do with traveling or anything like that. So I kind of covered that up and just added a photo, added our tickets, and then I documented day 17 and 18 together. By the end of the trip, I was done. I wasn't going to take any pictures. Now, um, on day 17, we went to the market and the policeman in front of our hotel told us not to take out our phones because there was a lot of people who pit pocket and will snatch it from you. So I didn't take any pictures. None of us took out our phones. None of us took out any cameras or anything like that. So I didn't have a lot of photos of the market. So I just added a few pictures of my flight, uh, a, our last lunch or dinner um, in the Philippines. My daughter and I traveled alone back to the U.S., because my husband and son traveled to Dubai. My husband had some work there and my son tagged along. So uh, I just kind of documented day 17 and 18 together because I didn't have a lot of photos. Um, I added some of our tickets from the flight and called it done. I finished it off with a six by eight photo, not six by eight, sorry, nine by 12 photo of us on the beach. This is one of my favorite photos of the family. And I also added all my ephemera in this envelope. I get these from Amazon. It is a Becky Higgins um, product. And all I did was add extra holes to fit into my album. This way I have all my ephemera with my album. A lot of this stuff just was not going into layouts. They were too big. Um, like I have to show you guys this one. This is a newspaper. We stopped in Japan while we were going to the Philippines. So I grabbed that. I thought it was pretty cool. I don't know what it says, but I thought um, it was pretty neat to grab a newspaper from a different country and kind of it had something to do with the US. Uh, God knows what that says. I leave I everything in here, like um, hotel room cards or whatever they're called, keys for our hotel room receipts a lot of receipts i kind of like to keep receipts because it's nice to see how much things cost at the time maybe in a few years when my kids go through this album and see the prices maybe they change maybe it's going to be more expensive or less i don't know i just like to see how much we paid for things and um, what we bought on our trip um but anyways that's it you guys i Loved putting this album together. It took me a while, but I got it done. I was able to document our amazing trip to the Philippines. And yes, I recommend, if you can, to go to the Philippines. It's so underrated. Um, you know, when my husband said, we're going to the Philippines because he did surprise us with this vacation, I was kind of shocked, like, why the Philippines? But now I know why. And, you know, watching YouTube videos before going and just kind of jotting down what I want to see and what we want to do. Just, um, I knew why at the moment when we got there. It's so beautiful. The people are lovely, amazing, so kind. We felt safe. We had an amazing time and my kids got the adventure of their lives. But anyways, I definitely recommend it. Uh, it was an amazing experience. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this flip through. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.